Good day, gentle dudes and lovely ladies. Where is the place that you can go in Southern California where you can find snow? This place, Mountain High, that's where we're at today. They should just close it. Like, why would they? Because there's people that want to live up in the nowhere. <laughs> in the nowhere. That is crazy, people. Okay, what so we were you? literally like 10 minutes away from the I know, the George, location. but we can't fly over a mountain or... We were literally 10 minutes away, sort of, George. Sort I mean, of. listen, it's a beautiful scenic trip. We are grateful to be here in the mountains. However, we took the <laughs> express scenic way to the mountains that apparently has been closed for almost 30 years <laughs> due to the road being washed out. So, as opposed to getting to the slopes by 9-ish, we'll be there right on time for lunch to do a little afternoon skiing. It's my fault. Well, I take like 60% ah. responsibility on that one, <laughs> even though he's saying 85% and they're saying 99%. I had no idea the road was closed. They're in the front and they would have seen the signs, but they're not looking. Hey, but wait, wait, apparently there's a big sign, so let's just wait and see what the sign looks like at the bottom <laughs> of the hill. There's four people in the car, yeah. none of us saw That's it. for sure, none of us saw <laughs> it. So we made a pit stop to the gas station to get some snacks. We got all these chips and sparkling water. I'll get orange juice because I haven't had that and that sounds like it's going to be delicious. Thank you. What are you getting? Gas station snacks are always like a must to get. And all we got was a bunch of chips. We wasted about an hour and a half of time. Uh, but we're down the mountain and we're going to head up and go all the way around. Got some goodies for you. I think she got some of your favorites in there. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on though. You ate the whole pack of gum? All of it. This is the thing with Jeanette. Like, I, well, we're opposites. I don't actually chew gum. Okay? Yeah, I chew gum. I love gum. Oh, I don't like, chew any gum. Can I ask you, like, where, where does that come from? Like, what makes you think She's been gum? like this forever. So, so like, bored. I heard, isn't that dangerous though to swallow gum? Probably. Yeah. Is that a dumb question? I'm still alive though. I don't even know. Like, that's <laughs> <laughs> so wild. Wow, I can't believe you ate the whole bag of gum. So Michael wanted gum and Jeanette ate all the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. The entire All of it. But not like over like a series of like an hour <laughs> no, or even no. a whole day. No. It was literally like oh, 20, 20 minutes. minutes. <laughs> Jeanette, does this look familiar? <laughs> <laughs> They're making fun of me in case you didn't figure that out. No, no, no. GPS. We're just making sure we're on our way. <laughs> GPS. That's your new name. Oh my god, it's so cold. It's colder than I thought it was cold. It's very cold. It is so cold right now. So cold, GPS George. It so is so cold. cold. Okay, so why are we calling me GPS George? <laughs> Do you remember? Because we <laughs> put 100% faith into George. He said, yeah, I know how to get there, I'll get us there. And he took us um, 30, 40 minutes, An hour and a half. An hour and a half into the, the mountains. Way. That has been closed. To my defense, not my fault. All right, so we finally made it. We were a little bit late. We missed breakfast, and then we missed check-in, and I think we missed the uh, training of the bunny slope thing. But like we're still gonna like be able to ski. We're still gonna be able to snowboard. It's a beautiful day. I think there's more dirt than snow. And I buy some drinks. We definitely all heard some drinks. We should did all the driving. Hey, GPS George? Have you said GPS George? I'm the one that gets us lost. He's the one that took us the long way. I because you guys didn't give us directions. No. It was amazing. It was awesome. It was beautiful. We saw deer. There you was, go. We saw deer. You're welcome, see? We're here. Less travel. This little every ski party is at 3.30. So here's two drink tickets each. Woo, there you go. So these are masks that we get to wear. Oh, does that yeah, like, cover our mouth? Masks. Yeah, 
Yeah. Ah, dope. <laughs> like a Yeti. Hi, <laughs> That's cool. No worries. This is Mike. Mike, hey. this is Patrick. Hi, Patrick. What's up? Hey, nice, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us today. George. Hey, how you doing? Patrick. How are you doing? Nice to meet you, Patrick. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you guys for coming. Yeah. Out. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna capture some of the skiing. We're gonna go do the training thing right now. You've done it before in your first year. Skiing lessons. And I'm gonna do snowboarding lessons, just for a little bit. Awesome. So I just got my boots and I'm now getting my board ice. If you've snowboarded before, skated or surfed, you either right. Regular or you ride goofy? I'm not goofy. I ride regular. In case it's your first time snowboarding, <laughs> I just found out that if the board is that like around your shoulder, you want the board to either be between your shoulder and your forehead. The bigger the board, the faster you can go. And the smaller the board, the easier it is to do tricks. So I'm going with the smaller board, not that I'm going to be doing tricks, but because I don't want to go too fast. Because I'm going to have a camera and I'm going to shatter it on the face. So did you go with the skis or the snowboard? I actually went with the skis. Why the skis today? I haven't skied or snowboarded in a long time, and I feel like I'm going to have a little more control with some poles. Yeah. And the snow is not that good, and I feel like I can just cruise yeah. a little bit. And then you can dance better on the, when you get to the bottom. Still, I've been practicing pole dancing. <laughs> Ooh, did you hear that, ladies? We're doing some pole dancing today. So what are you doing? Are you doing skis or snowboard? I think I'm going to try and survive. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Skis or snowboard today? Skis. Hey, so Hello. You're, you're, you're You've done it before, so you're a pro. But we're doing training still. Hey guys, so this is Mike from Travel With Meaning. You guys know who he is. That's Great stuff. It's Jessica, Jeanette, Jeanette, and her sister back there, Marissa, <laughs> who travels me. all over the world just to me eat dinners. Marissa. It's me by Marissa. She does amazing yoga stuff. She loves the beach. She's a mermaid or something. Anyway, us three are going to go head over to the training, the little bunny slopes to get some uh, our learn on. This guy's a master of skiing, so he's already off and ready to go. We'll see you in a little bit, buddy. Guys, to make it easier, what's the tip? How do you make it easier to walk up? If you want to walk up a long walkway like this, Jeanette, we're learning secrets on how to walk easier. So I guess you hold it like that, and like that, and like that, and then you walk up and you're good. Oh, my God. There you go. Okay, so every video needs its reason for filming, right? So for this video, I'm using the Sony A6000. It's an older camera. Doesn't have a place for me to put a microphone, so I'm using the onboard micing system, which is probably horrible, especially since it's going to be wind today. But I wanted to use this uh, camera for a couple of different reasons. One, I want to test it out how it is to vlog and to shoot. And the second one, really good lenses that I have today for it. I have the uh, 31.4 Zeiss lens, and I have a 16 to 70 f/4 lens, also by Zeiss. And I feel like the 16 is going to be good for vlogging, um, even though I prefer a 10. Oh, it just it just stopped. I almost died. And then the uh, 35 I'm going to use to get some really beautiful pictures of these trees, I hope. Anyway, hopefully this thing will start up again soon. Uh, otherwise, I guess I'll just start walking because I'm almost at the top anyway. Here we go. Okay, we're recording. Jeanette's second time skiing. She's doing awesome. Three, two, one. Hey, everyone. I'm in Mountain High, the ski resort. What's up guys, so I just made it on top of the lift. Okay, so this is my third attempt to go down this mountain. I did the little kitty slopes. Kind of learned there, it's been about an hour, hour and a half or so with Jeanette and her sister Marissa. They didn't actually get the chance to ski, but Marissa is taking the uh, training class. I'm glad she's doing that. Unfortunately, Jeanette doesn't feel all that great, so she's kind of calling it a day. She's gonna go down and grab some heat. Plus she's hungry, I'm starving. But <clears throat> I'm determined to do this because I haven't been on and I'm taking advantage of this because I didn't pay for it totally included as a media package deal. So I'm like, gotta do some content. So I'm gonna do some stories and I'm on this guy. It's actually, I don't know how I wasn't scared before when I was younger, never scared, but to not have a seatbelt on these things and just be like tethered on by just that little thing. It's super, super scary. We just stopped, so I'm stuck up here, great. Anyway, I did the middle one, it didn't feel so bad. It kind of is coming back to me. I'm able to like, uh, you know, turn and go around. Turning backwards is a little tough for me. Like I feel like I'm gonna fall forward, especially because I got this backpack on but I'm making it happen. This is so fun. 
The only thing is, not a lot of snow. There's hardly any snow. It's mostly dirt. Let me show you. Check this out. Most of it's like totally dirt. And the snow is really slushy, lots of water. But with the main guy, I guess the guy that kind of organized this and put this all together, he said that he will be invited back when there's more snow. Uh, so that'll be cool. So hopefully I get to invite somebody else, bring them along, and uh, maybe they can ski and snowboard. I'll try skiing that day, maybe. I'm talking too much, I'm rambling. I'm gonna shut up. Let's just enjoy this view. Sorry about that wind. I know it's like horrible right now. I bet it's like horrendous. Okay, so I've been going down this way the entire time. But I want to try this time going to the left. I wish I could come down there, but I, apparently my pass doesn't go that far. But if I go left this time, then I can go down that way, and that looks pretty fun. I was trying to get it before you left and I just made it. So I found Jeanette and uh, Michael. They already ate and they had some drinks. I missed out on the drinks. Wow, that's really windy. And I don't have any vouchers for food, but uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go grab a drink because I got the drink voucher. So I'll probably do like a coffee and whatever to warm me up. See if I can snag some food over here. Alright guys, so we're in break time, it started raining and it's pretty much over and we're all tired or fell or got injured or whatever, I or we had enough. Too. So we're gonna go to the uh, some kind of lounge and then go get some more food. Yay. Or some food for Drinks some of us. Drinks on mic. Drinks on mic. And uh, everyone's here uh, <laughs> catching up on the gram, because that's important. <laughs> Tagging me, hopefully. One person is. Yes, George. She's good, George. George. <laughs> I worked hard. Very. Today was a hard day for Mike. It was a great day. It was grateful. Very yeah. grateful. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. And I got a lot of runs in. I think I got like five or six runs. And I didn't fall in front of myself. It's cheap as George. Some lady poured me a Bailey's and cream and coffee and blue eye. That's way too strong. But we're going to go grab some food, some appetizers, and then uh, see what else they do. I think we're going to party a little bit. <sighs> so we are taking a few steps, barely any. From the bottom down there to this little building, and we are both so winded right now. And we're only at like what? 4,000, 5,000 feet? It's all of a sudden, I just promise you it went. The air's like either really thin up here, and we're just not used to it because we're at a lower elevation, like sea level, or I don't know what, but it, down, it is like so hard to breathe. That too. Yeah, it's like really cold. It's starting to rain, so I gotta put this camera away because it's not waterproof. time today I got to enjoy some of the snowboarding out here some of the snow I got invited back by the guy that put this together so we can come back in the future the door just closed on me I hope I can get back in there because it's super windy as you can probably tell I'm sorry about the sound I want to try out this camera to see how I would do with this with these lenses and how I would do with the sound it's a 6000 by Sony um, anyway just say what Janae was here had a great time her sister was here also had a great time and Mike from Travel with Meaning. Also had a great time. I enjoyed hanging out with him. If you guys like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends. Definitely come out here. The links are below. And remember, hang out with those that do what you love, create every day, execute now. And uh, two links right there. It doesn't have to end like this. Click them and uh, we'll see you in the next video.